we've had a blast being involved in this film. It's been awesome. Everyone we've worked with has just been amazing. And you just feel a sense of calmness, at least I did, um, with working with everyone. I thought it was great that all these kids came out to do this for Father Solanus, who's on his path to sainthood. You guys did a great job with it. I really liked how it turned out. Um, everyone worked hard. And I think all of the kids did a wonderful job. And the story itself that you guys put together for this is, is amazing, it's astounding. Like, it was really fun to just, um, like, see how it turned out and, like, how it's going to show so many, tell so many people about how much Father Solanus did. Oh, the greatest story was Grace's story. It touched my heart so much to have somebody want a baby so bad and then see the baby herself. And she's done a terrific job in this film. Very good. So proud of her. Don't even know her, but she touched my heart. And then the brother, too, being here with his miracle. Well, I learned a lot from the production and while filming, and it, but it really motivated me to become a better person and try to become a saint because that's what Father Salatus wanted us all to do. This is all a great gift to be able to be a part of this. And there's no question God works in our lives because you created this beautiful movie. And, and I hope a lot of people can see it. And, you know, it's, it is a wonderful thing for our city of Detroit and for our faith. I liked it because it had something to do with Father Solanus. And um, I've always wondered, like, what he did. Because I didn't know that much about him before this. I've heard about him, though. But I think it's really good. And now that he could become a saint, that's really, really good. Well, I wish I would have had a box of Kleenex with me. <laughs> it was so beautiful and was so masterfully put together, all of the stories. And of course, we had had access to the script, so we knew some of the stories, and so, but to see it all come together and see all the beautiful children and all the great art and the, the music being put to it and how it all just wove together the most fascinating story that we could tell and what a gift to all the children to be able to see and experience that in the future. What I like being in the production was um, learning about Father Solanus and how he made miracles throughout his life. This experience was amazing for our whole family. We've always been interested, um, visited the center, learned about Father Solanus, and really would love to see this in schools, in churches, and just distributed for everyone to experience. Um, it was a good learning experience when Kelly Nito told me what to do. It helped me grow in speaking. I think it turned out really good, especially with the music. One of the things that was neat for me was kind of like returning back to that sense of when I was a kid and kind of the mystery behind this this man who was so gentle and so kind and present to people and yet was so powerful in his ability to transform people not just transform people spiritually but even physically like the impact that he had on people's lives well I liked it because it was a really fun experience and um, I really like Father Solanus it was really cool because you could see how like everything came together like really well. So what I liked most about being in this production was how cool it was to be a star and to act and to do what I love, but also to proclaim the word of God and tell about Father Solanus and also my story um, to other people and say what God, God can do. I thought it was amazing. It was, Dr. Stan has an incredible talent and to make beautiful movies and I was very impressed. One of the neat things about it was again it awakens this mystery that we oftentimes I think lose a little bit of sight of when we get older. We kind of lose the sense of the mystery and the childhood amazement of some of these stories about these people that are actually real people. It was really awesome. It was a learning experience for me and I think it should be a learning experience for all the other kids too. Like if he becomes a saint, we were in a movie about a saint. What I like about Solanus Casey is that he's of our time and local for us. And 
and that we can come here to the Salinas Casey Center and learn about him to uh, bring Salinas Casey to life and to um, hear and learn about his stories because I didn't know many of the stories about him. And so it was a, a joy and a privilege to be a part of this filming experience. Um, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot because I had never really had much acting experience before. So this was like the first time I had actually had any coaching with acting. And it was a lot of fun to have experience in front of a camera because I had never been in front of a camera like in a movie before. It turned out really great. I think all the kids did a great job and everyone involved in the movie. It just turned out really well and I think Father Solange would be really proud. It's been a great experience for our family. Um, being able to come down to the Father Solanus Casey Center and uh, see it and then see the finished product today was truly amazing. Um, love to, after seeing this project, thinking of where this could be used at our parish and where like possibly in part of Vacation Bible School to be able to show some of these stories during the Vacation Bible School for the children there. I thought that would be a great use of this Production. Well, I think it's a good way for people to know about the stories and for kids to understand how it actually went. It teaches you about Solanus Casey and it's really cool. I've been talking to a vocation director and he had shared this story about like how his he wasn't able to walk when he was young and um, his mother and father took him to see Father Solanus and within a week he had he had regained the ability to walk and so these mysteries are not like some sort of like in the past type of things they are still around us and they're still dynamic so I just really loved how the production as a whole brought all this back to life again and, uh, um, and enabled our, our kids to experience it in a way that actually is very relatable to them. Um, but even as an adult it's kind of you get to return to that child mystery. I never really knew as much as I do now about him. It was really cool to see like the pictures appearing and the narrators with the colors and everything put together. It's a really cool movie and they should come and see it. really loved about the video was um, just the, the vibrance that it, it, it captured in regards to like the energy of kids. And, um, and it was, it really felt very much like kid uh, driven and kid engaged. And um, that again, that sense of that children's mystery type of thing, I think that we all kind of crave. Well, just knowing that I'm a part of something that's all about um, Father Solanus Casey, who's about to be a saint, that's actually pretty cool. I remember shooting and then like walking in and looking at the blank page, and then in the movie it just shows it like, boom, it's there, like with magic, so that was pretty cool. Just come see this movie, it's really cool, and it's all about someone who really helped a lot of people throughout his life, and he's a really great person, and I think that you'd enjoy it.